What up, YouTube? It's JT. And, uh, <clears throat> so I rewatched the fight, Golovkin Jacobs. You know, after all the backlash, all the uproar, all that. And, uh, I scored it, um, round by round. So I had first round Golovkin, second round Golovkin, third round Jacobs, fourth round Golovkin with a knockdown. Fifth round, I gave it Jacobs, but it was really close. Sixth round, Jacobs. Seventh round, Jacobs. Eighth round, Golovkin. Ninth round, Golovkin. Tenth round, Danny. Jacobs. Eleventh round, Jacobs. Twelfth round, Golovkin. So that brings my score to uh, 114, 113, Golovkin. Okay? With the knockdown being a difference. And I had um, the fifth round, I gave the Jacobs, but it was a, a very close round. That Letterman gave the Golovkin, so that round could have went either way, but every other round, I was pretty much dead sure on, um, I had it, uh, like I said, so it was either, um, uh, 114, 113, uh, Golovkin, or 114, 112, uh, Golovkin, or that would have made it 115, 113, so, either way, I had it a very close fight, um, you know, so the outrage is pretty much warranted, man. I mean, you know, you got credible websites that had Jacobs winning. You had Box Nation had Jacobs winning, but you hear these man defenders online, you know, they want to blame the weight. Daniel Jacobs was 190, which is a lie. No one knows how much he weighed on fight night, um, which is just an excuse. You know, you guys said Golovkin knocks out cruiser weights and knocks out fucking grizzly bears and shit like that so dude i don't want to hear any excuses about weight okay daniel jacobs made weight 160 pounds okay he chose not to reweigh for the ibf he does he's not obligated to fight for the ibf title he could have said fuck all the titles i don't want to fight for any of the titles i don't want to pay any of the sanction fees that still doesn't change the outcome in this fight that still didn't change the way this fight went um, the facts are Daniel Jacobs and Golovkin are close to, uh, are, uh, com comparable in, uh, skill set, man. And I just feel like Daniel Jacobs came with a great game plan. Obviously his game plan wasn't to really sit down on punches, man. Just, just touch Golovkin and, and, and uh, keep turning them and confusing, going southpaw, going right hand. I mean, he just confused Golovkin and kept touching him. He kind of like how Mauricio Herrera did Danny Garcia. Same, pretty much same fight, man. He didn't try to really exchange with him. He just kept touching him. And Golovkin, you know, I mean, you guys say all this stuff about amateur record. And this is the this guy is the real sweet science. You know, if you listen to that crackhead Thunderdome, um, you know, he says this guy is a, personifies the a true sweet science and this guy is so great and all that, but it seems to me that he couldn't really get past Jacob's reach and Jacob's height and, and size, man. You know, it was just, uh, it was a tough fight for him, you know? And, uh, you know, I don't take anything away from him, man. It, it was a tough fight, okay? Big fucking deal, man. Like, dude, why do you, why are you guys so in your feelings, man? You know, different channels, different punk ass bitches, man. Like, you guys literally act like Golovkin is your your husband or something, man. Like, what is wrong with you motherfuckers, man? Do you not see a problem with that, dude? Do you not... Do you think that shit's okay? Like, as a, a, as a heterosexual man to be that emotional and, and that invested in, in another man that you don't even know? Like, that is beyond... That's, that's creepy, dude. You know? Guys like Sean Newton. Guys like... Uh, precise percenter, Thunderdome. You guys are are queers, man. You know, Maxwell Bear, queer, com convicted crackhead. You know, just out of just out of this worldly, just just bisexual, man. Like, why are you so emotional over a boxing match, man? It was a close fight. I thought Golovkin won. I thought it let him in pretty much for the first time. And, and and Lord knows how long scored the fight correctly, you know. But for people to say that Golovkin is overhyped and all this, they have that right because 
the way you guys built this guy up in a way, you know, man defenders in the media, Michael Montero's, Dougie Fisher's, um, uh, Dan Raphael, the way you guys talk about this dude, like he's the holy grail to the first time we've ever seen this, this type of boxer or the first time we've seen this guy. Like just like this is just some out of worldly talent that, that no one can beat and everything he touches turns to gold and gets knocked out. Like, dude, you guys created this. So don't get mad at the backlash, man. Just man up and take it and shut the fuck up. And quit being bitches complaining about weight, weight bullies and all this. Weight bullies. That's just some just some cowardly ass, queer ass shit. More queer shit, dude. Dude, he made the weight, okay? So there's nothing to complain about, man. How many times has Floyd fought Canelo, a guy 20 pounds bigger than him? No one complained about it. You, In fact, you guys complained about uh on, on Canelo's side because he had to come in at 152. No one complained to what he rehydrated to the next day. No one complained with Maidana and Victor Ortiz who came in at 168 pounds. And no one complained, man. You know, guy being eight, outweighed by 15, 18 pounds. Still making a dude look like a little toddler, man. So, dude, I don't want to hear your bitching. I don't want to hear your excuses, man. Okay? Just be happy that your hero got the victory, man. And just take the... Just take the... uh criticism like a man dude and quit bitching like little punks it is what it is man you know the hype is 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 starting to fizzle out man you know it really just justifies everyone uh, what a lot of people were saying that this guy wasn't fighting um elite competition man you know it just justifies it man what can you say at this point man how can you still refute it (laughs) You know, you know, just his last fight, he threw all those punches against Kell Brook, man. There was no problems, you know, not hitting shit, but still he threw all those punches. But against Jacobs, for some reason, he was gun shy, man. Well, we know the reason he didn't want to get knocked out or get hurt by Jacobs. You know, he gave him so much respect, man. So you guys tell me what you think, man. But I just think it was a close fight. Everyone should just move on. It's over, man. It's, you know, take the criticism like a man, just like with Chocolito, man. Everyone told you that this guy's not number one pound for pound and is is a fucking hype job, man. But you guys constantly came up with this bullshit, man. And I don't remember who said it, but yeah, man, his hype is based around the fact that if this motherfucker would have been 49 and 0, HBO would have been all over the moon saying how much better this dude is than Floyd Mayweather when obviously he's not, man. He's not even close to that talent. He's not better than people fighting today. He's not better than Terrence Crawford. He's not even better than Lomachenko. And Lomachenko is a hype job too. Yes, he's good, but damn, man. You guys act like, again, like he's the holy grail to boxing. Like, dude, he already got beat up by Salido, man. You guys are still running your mouth, man. Like this guy is some holy grail, the best guy. He he can go up and you guys really think he's going to go up and beat Mikey Garcia, man. You guys are really that deluded, man. Really that deluded. You drink the Kool-Aid so much that you think this guy is going to go up and beat Mikey Garcia with that pity pat bullshit that he does, man. Okay. All right. Okay. When that fight happens, man, it's not gonna. It's it's not even gonna be like this fight. It's not gonna be a close fight. Lomachenko going to sleep. Okay. So anyway, let me not get on topic, man. Off topic. You guys tell me what you think of this fight, man. I thought it was a good fight, close fight. You know, do I think it's comparable to Andre Ward and Kovalev? I mean, they're both close fights, man. I thought Ward won. I thought Golovkin won. Okay, big deal. It's over, okay? It's JT. I'm out.